What's up guys? First off, I owe you an apology for not having a video last week. And this week, I don't really have a project. I'm actually working on a baseball bat back there. And uh, I didn't get it done in time this week because last week was spring break and we were hanging out with friends and stuff like that. So I just got caught up and I was all busy doing, just hanging out with my friends and stuff. So I do apologize that I didn't get a video out and uh, I hope that this video offers you guys a few tips and tricks you can use in your own workshop. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm sure we can all relate to this, a broken pencil and no sharpener. Well, you might be wondering what I'm doing with this sander. Basically, you just take it, turn it on, and you can sand it, and you can actually sharpen your pencil this way. So hey guys, look at that, a uh, nice sharp pencil, and that actually works out pretty good. I would probably not recommend it on a uh, random orbit sander, maybe a uh, disc sander or something like that, but this worked out pretty well actually. For this next tip, you only need two rubber bands. Those of us with Ryobi drills probably love the fact that they incorporate this magnet on it. We can just throw our screws up on there, and we can go ahead and take our drill. But if you don't have a Ryobi drill, or your drill doesn't have magnets, all you need is two rubber bands. You go ahead and take them, put one on the front, one on the back, and what you do is you take your stack of screws, or whatever you need, and then you just put it under one, put it under the other, and now you're all set to go up there and work, and when you need one, you just pull it out, and the rest stay in there. So that's really convenient to have if you don't have the magnet, or you could even epoxy your own magnet onto the base or something like that, and that would be really helpful as well. For this next one, you're just gonna need a hot glue gun. Say you cut out a piece of wood on a scroll saw or something, this is just a scrap piece of MDF, and you're trying to sand it, and it's a pain in the butt because you have to just keep moving around, you can't get a comfortable spot. What you can do is just take some leftover dowel or anything really, just take your hot glue gun, put a bead on top, and go ahead, take your piece that you're sanding, just push it on, let it dry for a second. And what this does is, it allows you to easily access the whole piece while you're sanding. Once you're done, you can just easily pry it off and you're all set to go. This one requires another two rubber bands. So let's say I'm trying to remove this nail, but I don't want this part of the hammer to leave a mark when it uses all the force to push down on the actual block of wood. It always is gonna leave a mark nine times out of 10. All you do is take the rubber band, put it on, twist it, put it on the back side, and now what you have created is this crisscross that's going to protect the wood when the camera's claw is on it. And it won't leave a mark and no mark. This one is for drilling holes. Say you don't have a drill press and you wanna drill holes that are all the same uh, depth. What you do is you just measure out how deep you want it. Take a piece of scotch tape or painter's tape, just put it on the drill bit, attach the two pieces, and now we have this little flap and this tells us when we're spinning tells you where you want to stop drilling at the end of this and you can make perfect holes every time. For example, I just take it, drill, stop when it gets to the flap, take it again, drill, stop when it gets to the flap, and now I have two holes that are basically the same exact depth. This next one is actually how to remove any strip screws that will just not come out of wood metal, anything like that really. And what it is, is it's actually a product. It's called Speed Out. And no, I'm not getting paid to um, advertise this. I just, I bought it and it works really well. The best 20 bucks I have ever spent really in woodworking. Basically, uh, one end is for drilling. They come in four different sizes. And one end, you just drill out. The other end, you take it and you just remove the screw and it works super well. So I'll give you guys a quick demo. You drill out the hole first. From here you 
just simply take your chuck, unscrew it, flip it out and around. Make sure your driver is in reverse and I can just take it and slowly drill that puppy out. And it's just that easy. This thing works great, guys. I really do recommend this. If you wanna add some tips, which I encourage, uh, try to add a tip or something in the comments below. I would appreciate that so you guys can all get the tips going around. These are just a few of many tips that you can try, guys. And I uh, really encourage leaving a comment below. Um, see you guys next Tuesday for another woodworking video. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.